Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It's Wu TBM and Jabroni Tony, and we've got a sequel. We've got a comeback. That's right. It's Starship Rebellion. We previously played uh, Starship Origins, which is the this game, and you know we had a lot of words to say. We famously gave it a, a like a C minus, but I had like a kind of a tongue in cheek. Uh, editing thing where it played John Cena's theme and stuff to celebrate having such a high grade <laughs> or relatively high grade and yes. uh, and yeah the dev I guess uh, is a pretty cool dude because he saw that video and in spite of all of our you know harshness and criticalness he gave us a key to play this game so this, this is the sequel or I guess maybe prequel and it just came out about a week ago yeah, we're honored. We're honored that we got the follow-up game. He liked us so much. This is our first one, I think, where the guy gave us a key to his second game. And this is a full-on release with eight eight dollar price tag. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. This is a real key. We'll have to remember this price here. <laughs> we'll have to give it a low value score, or we'll see. We'll see if it's a good <laughs> if it's a good value score. Look at these screenshots. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll Let's see. Keep an open mind. Definitely keep an open mind on that. If, uh, you know, the other problem is, having played the previous game, uh, it won't be as fresh, so kind of, we might be a little harsh because we're kind of trying to see new stuff and see how things have improved. Uh, yes. I think he may be improved in the, like, visual storytelling department. But, um, man, man, I want mechanics. I want mechanics to be polished. That's what I want. Yeah, let's not make this a super generic menu-based JRPG, please. <laughs> but it's likely to be. But hey, that that, that C minus order we gave it, that's a very high score for our RPG Maker game on our in our harsh grading scale. Yeah. That's one of the highest, I'm sure. And I love these like little touches that he has and these GIFs you see where he's like uh well this is the spaceship battles, we didn't get to see enough of it in the last game. Yeah. And then this cool little thing that's like shows them going into like a you know a, a warp gate or whatever you would call it, and uh, then traveling through it. Nice, nice touches for visual storytelling to you know immerse the player and give them a Very sense. Very high of, quality. Yeah, Warp give maker. give them a sense that they're actually like in a world where things like matter and things are done, and you're not just walking from. An empty forest map to another empty forest map. <laughs> <laughs> to a dungeon map. Yeah, and then talking to some NPC okay. with no animation. And you're just dialogue box, dialogue box, dialogue box, you know. Yep. So It goes a long way. That yeah. definitely does. Yeah, breaking up the visuals. and You know, because that's what a video game is. It's a visual media. So, you know. And all that is effort. It takes effort to get all that in there. How dare you say that? Effort. <laughs> Effort. That's that's a word that scares RPG maker devs. Yeah. Anyway, I think we've uh, I think we've said enough. I think we should just jump in. I do want to say, going back to that GIF, that fancy GIF. Random little side tangent. You know, we were talking about this a little bit before. We think visual. Maybe the guy can figure. The dev can tell us. But the the ships going into the background. We assume it's a spr it's a sprite scaling, and maybe moving a little to the left while it's scaling down. And I remember the Sega Saturn that was their marketing ploy versus PlayStation. They said sprite scaling will be better than full 3D. Boy, howdy, were they wrong! But <laughs> I'm going to bring that up because I like to say this word sprite scaling. Yeah. Anyway, that's anyway. another show. Yeah, I mean, this is really cool. This is like, I assume the background's a video, and then, yeah, these are like show picture commands that are getting smaller. But it works, man. It's like a cool visual. That's one one way to make, a, to be a good artist, a good commercial production artist, is you make do with what you can. You use tricks to save on development time or to get a really good effect. But, you know, it's almost like... Finding a way to be smart with your assets is a skill in in itself, right? Versus just trying to spend way going way over budget trying to do something that people are going to see for like ten seconds. Yeah, and what I would say about that is that's actually a relevant 
talent, like at all levels of game dev. Even if you have a lot of budget, there's always going to be things where it's like, oh, the engine can't do that. It's like, oh, but can we get an engineer to like make a feature that can do that? And it's like, well, that'll take like six months, so no. So yeah. like figuring out how to get stuff done, you know, with what you have is very important. It always comes up. Absolutely. And when it comes to RPG Maker, obviously it has a lot of limitations, but I mean, I guess that's kind of always been the thing that I say is like, you can figure out how to make a game with this. Like, it's definitely possible. Yeah. You just you just have to know how to work it. You have to make something out of it. Indeed. You can't just use the default. <laughs> Everything default. It's not going to work. It's going to be garbage. It's it's just ridiculous that people still do that thinking their game's going to have any chance of success. It's not going to happen anymore. There was that meme. It's not going to happen. Not in this day and age. Not when people have come full circle and have seen the garbage and know know the garbage now. Yeah. All right. Well, that's enough of that. You want to start getting into let's, this? Let's get into it. Yeah. All right. So I got this thing open. <laughs> this game does offer WASD, but not by default. I had to change the options. But it does no. open a full screen and is 16 by 9. So it's like a real game. I'm a real game. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'll try controller. I don't think, unless I get a warning that says not to. Huh. Just to keep the keyboard clacking sounds down, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty cool title screen. Um, just a looping background and flying ships. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh! Get words. Uh, this mode has to be balanced, not too hard, not too easy, just right. Whoa. Oh, it like loaded. Oh. Why is it the like? Hell? Why is it blinking like that? I guess it's sh showing, yeah, how much the enemy has. That's actually kind of creative. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was just kind of. Oh, I was going whoa because there's like a. I don't know if the it shows in the stream. The frame rate's high enough. There's like a blinking that was happening. Oh. I. Don't I think I want to say this is probably like a full show picture, and the, what I was seeing was like, like whatever the background is, which is just like a grid of red lasers. Um, boy, so I'm kind of tempted to play it on hard. If I remember correctly, the last game, you know, people complained it was too hard. I don't remember if there's a difficulty in that one. I don't think there was. So I don't remember at all. So I don't know if he considers that to be you know, normal, but sure. if he made this game easier for normal, for most to be a more broader audience, then I want to play it hard! Yes. Alright, I guess we'll just go with hard and see what happens. Good gamers. Be good at video games. We'll do it. <laughs> Min, max those numbers. Damn, I lost the signal. Are you picking anything up, Jack? I was able to get a fix on the location before losing the signal. We're very close. 39.08 minus 84.21. Huh. Why would they be all the way out here? In the middle of nowhere. It doesn't make any sense. Any ideas, cracks? I was thinking of Krang from <laughs> Ninja Turtles. They might be looking for relics. The market for those is quite lucrative. So I think we've had three characters, and all three of them kind of felt like a little bit different art styles. And this one's the most drastic. Yeah, I was looking at some of the screenshots. It the arts, the art looked completely in inconsistent between the multiple characters. Yeah, I remember the last game had some consistency issues with art, but what's it was funny because yeah. we actually graded the visuals pretty high, but I'm pretty sure that had to do with like you know, visual storytelling and fun things that are fun, like the blood effects and stuff. Yep, yep. Yeah, the the star the sis star system screenshots or the we had the overlay of the ship comp and all that stuff. Yeah. It earned it. It earned it. Yeah. I like this uh this this swirling dust particles thing. Um I wish it was going down because we're flying forwards at a high velocity, so I'd assume we'd be zipping by them 
but maybe it's the map just has only one setting. I don't know if it's... I think it's possible to change the direction or something. But yeah, that would help. That would help with this scene. Yeah. Have it going downwards. It doesn't matter! Nothing matters! <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. The pigs are going to get what's coming to them. Oh, is this a Duke Nukem game? The pig cops are the enemies? Pig cops. <laughs> Forgot about them. I'm approaching the, approaching the coordinates. I'm detecting a digger and a small contingent of enemy forces. We can totally take them. Light them up! Light them up. What? Is that necessary? Why do I let, let you talk me into these things? What is going on? Bring. I think this was. Oh, they're be... different ships. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we start with ship combat. Oh, shit. Hey, so maybe, you know, we could. We, we, what is it? One of our critiques last time was hey, we want to see the ship combat. Oh. Oh, what? I thought start. I took damage. Oh, I have to choose where I start. Well, I don't really have much. I, I guess I should have been paying attention to the stats. Uh, they all look oh, like they're the same. Names. Yeah, I think they're all the same. I think it's telling us they're all the same type of ship. So this is probably one of my just... favorite things. When you have multiple Oops. capital ships of the same model, is they all have their own cool name. So that they're all like partnerships, and they have cool names like the Star Destroyers back in Star Wars, like Devastator Champion. <laughs> These are all sand hoppers, kind of lame. Damn. Yeah, I think they're all just the same type of ship. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish but. it did have like a name. It had the type and the name, maybe. In the, maybe that's just unnecessary information. Whoa, 1200 damage. A lot of damage. These ground troops kicking my ass. Shooting up some right, anti air some can flak. Break off some uh, line of sights here, hopefully, from the other guys. Special repair drones. Uh, laser flurry. Laser. Fires a furious flurry of laser beams at the enemy. Well, I don't really have much of a sense of, like, uh, is something better against personnel versus vehicles? But, you know, oh, let's, yeah. just, let's just try it, because we have this energy. Truck. Oh, no, it's we not close enough. We marking this down, and we die here. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. Died in the tutorial. Wow, those guys are beefy. Uh, How much HP do they have? Like 600, I think. Oh, okay. Uh oh. So I guess I should have used the laser guns and or something. Why am I still yeah. playing as this guy? Okay, there so we go. You get to choose your facing, yeah. Oh. Choose your facing matters. All right. So this guy has the same attack. Let's move closer. Oh, this guy's only 140 hit points. Well, I guess he's gonna die. Whatever. <laughs> uh, laser Unless fury. he kills them with laser flurry. Oh, like has a cone. Yeah, I think it's in range. Yeah. I probably could have. I think you could have. Ugh! It didn't... Oh, you can move again. You can, I, guess, I guess... Get out of range a little bit. Uh, a little bit, I guess. I mean, they're gonna move up and hit you. Maybe I'll just go over here so I don't get AoE hits. Yeah. Fire. The, that was a Landmaster from Star Fox. <laughs> Alright, well, this guy has full health, so I'll put him... In danger, so that he's... Uh, I can't reach this guy. Uh, can I repair repairs the ship? Okay, well. Oh. Oh no! Was this guy hit my own you guy? The cone? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh! It actually did. Go oh, it's. I think it did more damage because they were at the end of the cone. So. Uh, okay. I guess that's how that works. Maybe. Yeah. Look at them, just a we heap yeah. of blood. <laughs> Dude, I was gonna say, I was, I was looking at that. It's this game, the bloody game. Yeah. Uh, it's not super good on my end. I can't completely see the detail, but I'll zoom in later. I'm gonna repair, because they fucked us up. Alright. Oh no! He's coming! Ow. Alright, this guy needs to repair for sure. Boy, he's not repairing for very much, though. Okay. Where's the just damage range? It's really crazy. I don't know. Uh, 
Well, let's see. Let's get let's get him. Is this maximum cone? Actually, I guess. Okay, so let's move, and then let's. Oh, okay, that was maximum cone. All right. Oh, so that so it is just a damage range. It wasn't. Uh... Let's go over here. So we can't AOE us. Uh Yeah, I don't know. Like the, the music. It's got it's got claps, it's got drums. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this gun do then? I have wait, like, max power again? How do I keep getting my power back? Maybe it just refills the a lot every turn. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, what are you gonna... Oh, God, they do more damage to me, though. Hmm. Fortunately, I don't have good positioning now. But if I backstab him, will it do backstab damage? Uh, maybe that was more damage. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, it said end turn, but it didn't... End the turn. So... I guess I just go over here and pummel this guy. Hmm. Let's move away. Still don't want to. Still concerned about them A wing, I guess. Unforced failure. Can't lose this one. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah, I can't get a good sense of like. Which attack does more damage, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's called Laser Fear and it costs... Still, it's... I don't know. I don't know! Oh, whoops, I should have healed. Oh well. Too late now. He's dead! Helping this guy. Oh my god. Alright. I, I don't know. I might be losing here. Maybe it was a mistake to. How much health does this guy have? Oh, he only had 150 health as well, so he's gonna die. Uh. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, this is uh, not good. This the end of our run. <laughs> Immediate lose. Immediately. The, I was gonna say the cone. The key is. Yay, the cone. cone! Oh god, the key is not the cone. Oh, these ought to do like more damage or something. I, was, I mean, I knew it probably wasn't, but I was just hoping because we're on the verge of death. Yeah. No, 31 to... HP. Oh, I can't do this. I all of a sudden I'm not getting my shit back fast. Maybe you only get like yeah, you don't. <laughs> Whatever, uh, find it out. Let's see if I can... I don't think this... I don't think this has enough range. So maybe I'm stupid not. It does not. Run away! Oh, probably should have gone with a regular attack. But it didn't kill him anyway, so I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, well... Sandhopper's allies were defeated. Oh, so that's an actual right. loose. All right, so I guess we'll go with normal because. Uh, no, no, no. I think you just use cone better. I don't know. It's up to you. Either way. Uh. I mean, yeah. I don't care either way. But do you feel if you coned better? Oh shit! Knowing with now how thing. things works. Yeah, so we watch the whole thing. Just uh, to... maybe, but the enemies kind of move in like really random, unpredictable manner. So. Sure. I don't yeah, really. Fine. No, I'd rather just, you know, get farther in the game than mess That's around with the same thing. You know, I was also unsure about how the dev perceives difficulty. Uh, yeah. So, I was either thinking normal would be what he did last time, or, you know, he would perhaps realize, oh, people thought my last game was hard, so maybe that should be hard. But I think... That's fair. Yeah, I think, I think he made normal... Uh, 
his typical difficulty. Yeah, as he should. N no, I don't know if I agree with that. Oops, I got impatient. Oh, okay. Like, I would say normal should be more of a general audience difficulty, and then hard oh, okay. should be hard. Sorry, we said, we said typical difficulty. That's what I thought she meant, like general audience. All right, let's see if I can... I can't do shit, so let's just move here. Laser these guys. I don't fucking know. 221. There's like a really wide range of... Uh... Oh, here we go. All right, so... Let me get a look at this. Can I catch that guy? Uh, I don't think I can. I think he's too far away. I think he's too far away. Maybe. I don't know. Let's try. Uh, yeah. Oh, it could, oh, but oh. it gets cut off by the rocks. The rock, yeah. Right. Unfortunate. Let's move, like... I don't know. Just out of, out of the way. I don't know if facing matters. I mean, it better if you're going to make me constantly have yeah, to, like, stop. Yeah, you're going to be like, oh. Oh, okay, I guess I'll move up a little. Hooray! The ground troops are dead. Uh, let's wait for them to come to us. Ow. Alright, maybe that wasn't the smart thing. But I'm taking way less damage, it feels like. Because, like, when I... The first attack... On the first turn, the last time, they, like, did, like, 1,200 damage to one of my units. And, like, hit two units. Yeah. And I was like, jeez! That's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, he's getting shot up. Yeah, I still can't really get a good, a sen good sense of how much damage each thing does. I kind of think the other one is just meant for... Oh, it's a cone! Here's what I'll do. I'll try to convince them to get closer together by cutting this guy off. Uh... Damn. He did not fall for my trick. <laughs> Let's box him in. I hope he doesn't have a ta an attack that's like... Uh, you know, some sort of close range AoE. Sure. Who knows? Hooray. Alright. I still can't really get a sen good sense of if the laser flurry is worth using against one enemy or not. <laughs> kind of don't think it is. Damn, this guy's getting shot up. Where are you going, sir? You cannot flee. Oh, I mean, he's got to be dead, right? Let's come on. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. Guess I'll die then. Oh no. He has so many hit points. 400. I feel like I have to remember to like read fast when they're moving and when I'm attacking them. Oh yeah, because that's the only time their thing shows that's them. The only time. Alright, I'm gonna heal just in case. I don't know. Even though I probably don't need to. The damage values are so random. Okay, cool. Oh, I was gonna say. Maybe I have to end we my did. turn. Hooray! Yeah! People got Graphics. blasted. Whoa. Ugh. 
Told you it'd be a piece of cake. Piece of cake. ESA patrols don't normally come out this far. They must be looking for something specific. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. You know, I was just thinking, uh, it's kind of funny. Oh, this is the this is the thing I was seeing that I was seeing blink on the previous screen. Where is it? The the background of these this red grid moving around. Oh. Um I was just thinking a kind of funny thing, like the ship battles should be the JRPG face to face, and the on foot should be the tactics. Because I mean, really, ship battles, you know, you're using like computers to auto target other ships, firing weapons that move at the speed of light against the mo against the target that's, you know, moving several hundred times the speed of sound, most likely. It's like it it's gonna be like either you can hit them or you can't. Or abstract, yeah. Yeah, it's like submarines firing missiles into the deep because it's you know. I mean, I guess that would be for space. This was on in the atmosphere. But anyway, that's just a random thought I had. Flip it around. Oh, I can control this. All right. Why is this engine still on? What happens if I walk into this? Do I die? Okay. That would burn me to death. Look at this guy looted. So bloody. Yeah. All this destroyed shit. Oh. This panel should take us to the passage below. Are we ready? Uh, I guess we should look around more since you've given me the option to look around. <laughs> oh, I got Lives. something. Yeah, you can loot the dudes. Yeah, loot oh, the dudes. just by walking over them, I guess. I don't think I got anything. Oh, there we go. That one was a little off. Yeah, that seems strange. Uh, it might just be like a parallax mapping thing. There was one body over the left, wasn't there? Another body. Oh, maybe. Take on the way yeah. yeah, there. Because if you do parallax mapping, but it's like on the grid, you get in these situations where uh, sometimes things don't fit the grid. That's why that would happen. But I don't know. I would think that like uh, it should have been one square over because I was like over here. Yeah, I here. think I think, or 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 just do multiple. Or yeah, make, make the bigger, make the hitbox bigger. bigger. Yeah. There is a nice Canfly plugin that does that. Can make hitboxes of things much larger. Uh, look at this. Yeah, this must be parallax mapping now that I'm like actually looking at this. So that's probably what's going on. Oh! That was a very slow fade. I knew it. Oh, I guess I was supposed to read that. I thought that was... I thought that was like flavor text. <laughs> they found the relic from the sound of it. Quite rare. You mean from the people who used to live here? Bum, bum, bum. The Malarians. They were quite advanced. Their downfall is still a mystery. Come on. Let's find out for ourselves. I have decided this chick sounds like Duke Nukem. Oh, more loot. Oh, these are boxes. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. That's right. This, this maybe it was flavor text that just actually had dialogue, which is kind of cool. All right. Um, who knows? This game apparently has autosave, so yes, we're ready. Let's do this. This chick is definitely Duke Nukem. Huh. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, am I supposed to do something? Lighting effects that I can see before the rest of the level. What is this place? A door. There has to be a way to get inside. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's some sort of puzzle where you press the buttons in order. It appears they are able to hack into the door using this control panel. Activate control panel? No. We'll look around a bit more. Cause Men's I hack egg. Give me this. You know, maybe that is what I should do. The fact that he's you're able to open things by just walking into them kinda of feels kinda of nice. Instead of having to click on them. Yeah. 
give, give, loot, 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 loot. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Yeah. Activating control panel. The last game taught me anything. What I need is grenades. Lots of grenades. Whoa. What's that? A geodrome. I have never seen one in such good condition. Guys, I don't think this thing is friendly. Whoa. Uh, okay. Special. Uh, charge? I guess that's like TP. Items. Throw a grenade. Uh, no. These are all healing items. Alright. Alright, we're doing attack. <laughs> Special. Also TP. Okay. Oh no, our TP sound. Yep. Oh my god. Ow! Damn. Holy shit! Uh, maybe this is a force? Lose. Jackhammer fist. But I feel like... No, we could probably kill him before he yeah, kills it's us. It's just pretty low. You got three, you got three, one. Three. Yeah, let's look at that. It's Especially dead. if I use this TP move. Kaboom! Woo woo, spinning! What? How come people get different amounts of knowledge? Got some knowledge. Maybe it's the damage they've done, yeah, I don't know. Man, damage they do, that would be a rich get richer type system. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wow, that was close! This structure must have been undisturbed for thousands of years. I wonder if it holds any clues about what happened to the Malarians. Whatever the pigs are looking for down here, we can't let them have it. Come on, let's go! Uh, 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 where is it? Um, Save game. Yeah, there's that, but I was, uh, this is, only works on organic life forms. Is this guy an organic life form? Uh, oh, I don't have a description of him. So many words! Well, what is a Geodonian? Uh, a right. geo geological person. I guess we'll what find else? out if he counts as a living... He's not a robot, so... He's made of rock. Organic. Rock oh, it says organic. Or... Right, that's the problem. It says organic. Uh, is this rock. the smallest one? I think this is the smallest one. Alright, let's see what happens. Wait, what? I can't use it. Oh, he's... Oh, revives. Oh, I see. Biological and technological members. Oh. Okay, this is the one so I need to use. And this background is probably an FMV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, RTP sound. Why? No. Oh, effort. Eight dollars for this. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, oh, they keep their TP between fights. Okay. Uh, learn skills. You have to learn skills at all. Well, I have like. 3,000 knowledge? They just gave me shit to use. So much, so much goddamn knowledge. Microwave beam. Uh, Cook food and organs. <laughs> That's what you should say. Cooks both people and food. Uh, makes enemies focus their attacks on the user, creating the distraction. It's kind of strange English. Uh chance to counterattack. But if this game's like the last game, we'll have seven party members, so yep. unless everyone can counterattack, that might be not great. Science. Uh, oh, gun. Jun. Oh yeah, that was the problem I had with the last game, which is I'm not sure when something is a... Well, it says time action. No. Oh, this is... Okay, so it does say passive. It does say passive and time action, so that means time action must be... The opposite of a passive, active. Oh, no, that's not what that means. Okay. So I guess if it's active, it just won't say passive. Okay. This is what happened last time, where we got stuck looking at these fucking skills for forever. Yep. Uh, 500% more likely. Is that multiplicative, I assume? Is, why would it be a number like that? Yeah. It's so much. Uh, Alright, let's just do damage. 
Move that does damage. Um, when in doubt, more damage. Success rate 75%. That's pretty good. Oh, damage potential is negligible. Okay. Gamma ray. Gamma charge. Gamma. <laughs> Gamma crush. Radiation poisoning. Very effective against synthetic enemies. Interesting. It costs more knowledge. I'll use it against... I prefer artificial life. Whatever, whatever the android says in Alien. Uh, Sit. let's do this. You'll deal with the robots and potentially use it on people too. See what happens. Oh, you guys have the same skills. Heron. Lance proficiency. I don't know if you have a lance. I think you have a gun. Uh, let's just do. Are these guys all going to be like the same? They're all going to be the same. Okay. Wait, this guy's a researcher, though. Shouldn't he be... Well, let's look at his racial first. Oh, that's like an active skill? A yeah, researcher. Oh! Oh! 10%? 15%? 20%? But, you know, I don't know how grindy this game is. If it has infinite grinding... I mean, I'm not going to play that game that long, so I'm not going to worry about a long-term investment skill. Indeed. Uh, you know, something I should have looked at before any of this is, like, who has, like, the best strength and power attack? I didn't really understand the, the relationship between strength and power attack before, though. So this guy has high defense and kind of low. What were you saying? Say so the rich get richer. The strong people make them stronger. Yeah. Make them hit harder. I mean, hey, why not? Thank the people who hit weaker do the CC moves. Yes. All right. Oh, I keep pressing that. Save game? I pushed many buttons, so I save. Okay, let's open this door. What? Wasn't it, wasn't it this? Uh-oh. Did I break the game somehow? I just saved. What the fuck? Did, wasn't this the thing I clicked on? Or did I already click on it? Oh, I already clicked on it. Okay. Honest. Oh, okay. Oh, cuts. I can't breed Malarian. I can't. <laughs> what do you make of it? Cracks? The stone loosely translates as our memory lives on. Yeah, he's a G he's made of rock. His name's Crack. <laughs> there we go. Found the sweet spot. For looting that guy. Yeah, see, uh that's a square. Oh, whoops can't get close to it, because I'm on a grid. Look at the body. There you go. Big money. Hooray! Lots of things to loot. Somebody should have a legendary weapon on them. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be stupid. <laughs> what is this? Diablo? It's giving the player legendaries? Yeah. <laughs> modern WoW, modern Diablo. The worst decisions. Uh... Oh, none of these. Yeah, look at all this. Look at this. He's got freaking... He's got world... Oh my god, that's a very long fade. No. Diavina. The world, word loosely translates as alien or foreigner. The Gaijin. Gaijin, yeah. That's what I was ESA team found a device known as the inhibitor. What does it do? If the pigs were looking for it, it can't be good. The android began to act strange. I don't like the sound of this. All right. Oh no! I clicked on it. Fuck. Fade. Fade. I, I scratched my face. Okay, good. They don't do their little scene again. Uh, was a device removed from here? All right. I guess we're done with that. Huh? Okay. Do 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 do. All right. Uh. Cracks is kind of small. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. Uh, another one of those things. It's huge. Alright, time to try this new ability. Microwave. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Pretty good. Oh, he's a robot. Oh, it needs both power and... Oh my gosh. I got one right No, you don't. No! My body! 
My rock body. Flash. Yeah. How those generic sounds? Yeah, the generic sounds are good, but the last thing I think is RTP. It's like, there's like, listening with headphones on, it's like there's a notable, noticeable change in quality between like, the first okay. hits and then the last hit. Sure. It's like, what happened? What happened to the good? I want good audio quality, always. Replace all the RTP. Uh, okay. Can't talk to these naked mans. Stasis chambers, that. but they're all dead! They're so well preserved. Their bodies don't rot like most life forms. Instead, they turn to stone. Whoa. Yeah, lots of little uh, things to interact with and get a little tidbits about these people. Yeah. Uh -uh. Ah! He's so huge and fast that there's like no way I could avoid him. Nope. Uh, all right. Well, this guy's gonna die before I. He gets the three turns. Oh, I didn't even heal my guy. Uh, well, whatever. Microwave. Microwave. Damn it! Not again. <laughs> no, he barely got his turn. Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, he didn't hit you. He gets to go faster, Practice I guess. So slow. Yeah. Yeah, Crax is also slow. I should have looked at his agility or whatever. <laughs> battery! Jumper battery. Alright, cool. If our car breaks down, we set. Uh, epinephrine. Medkit. Let's use a medkit on Crax. They're all kicking his ass for some reason. What is his deal? Why are you so slow? Yeah, he does have 101 agility. Oh, can I do... Ah, I remembered that this is a button. Yeah, he has considerably less agility than these guys. You fool! Why don't you have more agility? I wonder if I have other equipment. I probably Why don't. don't. You it, it. Nah, get off shit. Alright, healing. This is the weakest medkit, right? Well, let's see if it works on this guy. He's made of rocks, potentially. Okay, it worked. Okay. I wasn't sure if they're going to be like, you fool, he's not organic, he's a uh, uh, carbon-based life form. There or, we go. Or, no, wait, carbon-based is... What's the other one? I forget what the other one is. I... Uh, now if I hear it, I'll go, oh yeah, that, but... <laughs> Phosphate, I don't know. Uh, I guess this door's just going to open. So I guess that's just a little... It's just a little bit of uh, world building that all these doors have a little thing on them to let you know. That's why you can open it, because they hacked it already. Hold up. I'm detecting a strong enemy signature just behind that door. Let's make sure we're ready before we proceed. All right, good thing we got scouters. Yep. Uh, the game is less random on when you fight bosses. Not random, but, but less uh, surprising. Unfairly yeah. surprising. Yes. Just nice for us. And if he kills us, then I guess I'll spend more time looking at my skill points. I don't know. What the hell is going on here? Did the android kill the team? Advina. Jigga jigga booga booga jigga. Herga burga jigga boo. What did it say, cracks? You speak our tongue. Is this thing a malarian? Perhaps the memory of one. This alpha. Four thousand two hundred seventy cycles have passed undisturbed. Our mission was unsuccessful. The Advena now possess the inhibitor. What does this so-called inhibitor do? It was designed to keep the Advena out of reach. Now all is lost. Firewall reestablished. Defensive protocols engaged. Orc terrorist cell <laughs> detected. <laughs> Activating automated defenses. Two or, of them. We're orcs, apparently. We're screwed. We don't have any grenades. The wires. Aim for the wires. You have to cut the link. Is that a thing we can do? I'm assuming so. Holy <laughs> <laughs> that, that explanation. Oh, I see. It's just. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I gonna see. say you. You. Yeah, that's all. That was my first guess. You actually just 
Oh, oh yeah, see he has 3200 instead of only 300. Yeah. It's kind of cool at the same time it also is kind of all or nothing. Like, do the thing we said and the fight isn't hard at all. But maybe it will be, we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, up and down works, I just realized. I don't know how he got that to work. But that was a problem I had with uh, my game, was up and down does not work properly. So I had to change things from left to right. Yeah. You're going down! What? You're shooting the computer? What are you doing? Kaboom. Fine. Yeah, that was pretty... Pretty easy. The android has been neutralized. What about the Malarian computer system? Why did you do that? <laughs> it's fried. Crap out of it. Let's get out of here. I'm ready to go home. Dot, dot, dot. Let's bring the dot, android dot, back dot. with us. It might contain useful information. Yeah, it's a little excessive with the dot, dot, dots. Yep. Fine. Oh my god. We have to Every sure single turn comment on us later. have to do that. Yeah. Is, is that like an anime thing? Like, I don't know. Always it is, like, but it's, it's way too excessive. You don't have to do every single line with a dot, dot, dot. I mean, the main thing about the dot, dot, dot is it should be, it should present some sort of like uh, improper like grammar. Trailing it. Yeah, trailing, yeah. improper grammar, like not a, an, an unfinished sentence, but like fine, but we have to make sure it won't turn on us later. Like that's a sentence already. Like you could just be a period. Yep. Um, I mean, I this sentence maybe is a, don't worry. Oh, there you go. There it is. Gianna should be able to help. All these people oh are just voiced God. by... Uh, <laughs> they're all voiced by Jeff Goldblum. Come on! There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. Or maybe not Jeff, maybe William Shatner. Come on! <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. I think we've had yeah. enough action for one day. Whoop. Boodaloop. Now that I've noticed that, I swear, if every single line of dialogue has that dot dot dot, I'm marking down the narrative. <laughs> but that, that's not that's not good writing. Oh, cool! You got CGs. You've tried everything, cracks. Maybe it's time to give up. No, we have to, a few more things we can try. It's waking 100 up. 100 of the time. It's 100 percent of the time. My God, it's not time yet. These malarian data files are Why? being extremely stuck. Like Go back to sleep, Cronus Thirteen. No one can finish a thought. They all just they all just trail off. It's crazy. What do you? Hey, a oh, comma. But, hey, finally! Holy God! <laughs> Holy crap! No one proofread the script. And said, "Hey." A waiting input. There we go. Okay, this one this one makes more sense. A little bit better. Yeah, they're waiting on something. Yeah, and it's also a computer. Like dot dot dot. Good. Oh no no. <laughs> No! Back to 100%. We're back to 99%. Seems to be working. Upload one of the default AIs, Gianna. Oh, yes, yes, comma. It's over. Technically needs an apostrophe, I believe, but... Well, I guess if I'm really technical, I think it needs uh, periods. Whatever. <laughs> Understood. Initiating transfer. Whoa. What was that asset? And dot dot dot, even in its speech role. <laughs> Cronus 13 is ready to receive additional input. Can you become a party member? <laughs> yeah. Give it a little more personality, Gianna. Okay. How about this one? Okay, this is appropriate use of dot dot dot, I think. If, it's, if this person's giving attitude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What happened to me? You were damaged. We brought you back here to be repaired. <clears throat> were you able to remove the malarian code, Gianna? I'm afraid not. However, I was able to implement a strong firewall. It should keep the malarian code contained. That's what I was afraid of. I don't want this thing turning on us. I think it's worth the risk, Mari. Android does have ESA command codes built in. You could definitely use an edge right now. I don't think there needs to be a comma there. Nor the ellipses. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready to go? Soren Xander! This guy doesn't look like a main character, but his name certainly sounds like a main character. Very, very main character. Uh, I don't want to miss our scheduled pickup. 
we were able to restore the android to working order. Good. How about we take it with us? There could be raiders on the way to the rendezvous point. We need every hand we can get. I'm going to start having the ellipsis affect the way that I read it. Because I'm trying to understand what the inflection might be. I'm not sure that's a good idea. If we still haven't fully tested it to make sure it's okay... <laughs> Only one way to find out! Yeah, Yay! Nice. Course 13 is ready to assist. Good. I'll be waiting in the truck. Please don't take too long. Come on! Let's go. Oh, that... Oh, okay. That definitely should be like a comma. Ellipsis yeah. makes the inflection really weird. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jack Victor... He was already in the party. What do you mean? Yeah, they're rejoining. But you are... Mari is the party. Okay, this Why person... Party? This person is the one we need. We didn't have this person before. Yeah. That's a... That that's not a default thing. He manually added that message box. Is why I'm kind of calling it out. Oh, robots! The party leader. Oh. Oh yeah. Wow. Like, I'm the main character now. Jack Victor is a pretty main character. Now. Yeah. Mari Williams is a very unexciting character name for the most Duke Nukem type character. Mari party. Cracks grog. Rockman! Rockman X. Eggman X. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta use my skills. Robot! What are your robot skills? OP robot skills. Oh. Uh. Is this. I'm assuming this is like multiplicative and not additive. I think so. <laughs> the flute. Or the wind instrument. I don't know if it's a flute. Wind instrument. Oh my god, this wind instrument is going. <laughs> Become skilled at managing power cells for increased capacity. Charge cell regeneration. Oh. Modifying and tinkering with internal codes of weapons. Oh. Okay. Again, I, I guess I, what I need to do is look at their shit. 220. So, oh, his power attack is high. All right, so I guess he should be a power attack person. Although I still don't really know uh, what is a power attack. What does it do versus regular strength? Yeah. Uh. Marty, Marty, Marty to party. Like Scotty to hottie. <laughs> <laughs> Marty to party. Power attack plus 10%, critical plus 20%. 3,000 knowledge. Well, he needs a skill. Oh, whoops. That was not the right button to press. What is this person's like? Oh, I see. They're running away. The numbers in the way make it seem like he's like sticking his ass out and farting or something. Uh, it does. It really <laughs> does. Like with the, with the smiling or like a straight phase. Looks pretty funny. That looks pretty funny. My Skip gosh. shot. Oh, that's pretty powerful. Seems pretty good. Unfortunately, the first one kind of sucks, but you know what? Hit three random. En Let's fucking get that. Hit three random enemies. Three damn three hits is good. Uh. Oh, I wonder if I have to have like a gun equipped. Better Cover look. fire. Hmm. That could be a problem. I don't know if I need to have a gun equipped. He has a gun equipped. All right, we're good. Got all we need. Got a gun. All right, let's get better at this. Damn it, 3,500. Enemy party. All right, we're saving up for that. <laughs> Got to have that party AOE. Uh, 2,200, 3,500. Cyborg technician. Oh, he has, she has like the same, she? Yeah, she, she has like eyelashes. <laughs> so we assume she, uh, oh, and her name's Gianna. That helps too. Uh, biological power charge. I mean, they charge power cells. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, what? This is like, 
pretty good, but... Uh, does she have a gun? Oh yeah, let's look at her numbers again. Oh, she's equal, okay. Does she have a gun? She has a graviton disc, which is... <laughs> powerful shuriken with a major black hole at its core. Alright, sure. We'll take that. <laughs> Criminal, commit crimes. Uh, is it just like do more damage? Fist master, <laughs> master of fisting. Fist. Oh god. <laughs> it's like for punching. No, for something else. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what a shuriken is, so I guess I can't do that. Anti. Oh, graviton burst. Fire. Well, I have a graviton thingy. Does that matter? Power and charge. Oh, this one actually says power and charge. I feel like the other thing didn't say that, so... What the fuck? Um... Uh, let's give you this, because... Er, I gave her that, I gave... What's this one say? Oh, you have a thing already, so let's do this. Let's just get random skills, because I have no idea if they're good or not. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, okay. Can I rob my own house? Or is this my house? I don't know where I am. Yeah, the home... I guess it's... Yeah, is this like the bay of the ship? Yeah, they got a lot of trash in their ship. Uh-oh, whoops. Yes. Whoops. Oh, clipping, yeah. Yeah, it's a parallax map uh, layering issue, I assume. Well, actually collision, because if the collision was in the correct place, I wouldn't be able to move up this far. Whoops. Uh, oh, look at that little transparency. Cool. Whoa, wait, am I supposed to be able to walk under this? I think those are like, yeah, I think those are shelves. Oh, okay, they're like shelves. I Big see. Big shelves, yeah. A pie. There's like a chest there. Alright, I don't know. Let me out. Oh, I guess we're walking. What is this place? Scrap Springs, our home. A place for those... <laughs> a place for those to choose to choose a little home? free. 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 Uh, <laughs> according to official records, a settlement known as Scrap Springs was destroyed. That's what the pigs think. Huh? <laughs> Come on, let's get to the truck. We don't want to leave Soren hanging. All right. Uh, kitty. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I guess I'm petting it. It's funny. It makes a little purring sound you probably can't hear because it's you barely so, hear it. So quiet. Oh, another cat. What? I think. Purring sound. Excuse me. <laughs> as long as the camouflage field remains online, we're safe. Line. Yeah, what would be the inflection there? <laughs> so, it's so hard because it's unintended. But, uh. Weapons and armor. Oh, do I have money? Do yeah. I have money? I have eight hundred ninety-two dollars. Buck. Space bucks. Oh, I can rob these guys. Wow, I can rob these guys. All right, cool. Perfect. Or is this like an armory and not like a store? Rob, 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 rob. Steal, steal. Stealing is the best. I got like a shotgun or something? Rail shotgun. Gun I feel, shotgun. I feel like a rail shotgun. Railgun shotgun seems impossible? Hmm. I guess not. I guess technically you could put some sort of buckshot into it. It's hmm, interesting. Yeah, that would just magnetize all of it out and hopefully not hit the system while it's doing it. Hit the, <laughs> the gun apparatus. Yeah. 
Let's uh, get somebody who has a weapon that doesn't have railgun pistol. See that one? I guess I don't remember if we commented on that before, but that one might be a little silly because no guns, only guns. Because it's like you know, a railgun needs a long barrel, right? I guess maybe not. I guess it depends on the technology. Yeah. Protective gear for any situation at bargain basement prices. What do you got for me? Oh, these are like healing items or mana potions? These are pretty expensive. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the price. For, yeah, to your money. Yeah. We don't we haven't really earned any money yet though, so That's fair. Bargain basement price. Oh yeah, yeah. It's funny, I'm gonna have to probably lower the prices. I have I have a whole mess on my hands with my money being ammo. It's like how do I balance <laughs> this so I probably have to make everything very cheap so people don't feel overwhelmed. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, oh yeah, I was remembering in the last game there was some comment I read that there's like a piece of gear you could just buy that gave you like an extra action by wearing it. It's like everybody, so you could buy it and put it on everyone and everyone had two turns. <laughs> be like so OP because you have seven, you have seven characters, yeah. there's like 14 actions you can do. Yep. The action economy is F's after that. Yeah. Uh, having a little bit of trouble telling the difference between consumables and equipable. Oh, bubble here. Pull up. Yeah, okay, these are boots. Okay. Armor passive state, double, doppelganger. Double attack. Oh, maybe it's this. Double attack. So, yeah. This is pretty good. You can just uh, become insane. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to become insane. <laughs> dot, oh. dot, dot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Oh. <laughs> Flute. Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Not gonna let anybody mess with the railgun cannon. Railgun shotgun. Everything's a railgun. It's a triple? Oh no, it's a puppy, I see. Very fluffy. There's so many animals running around. What's going on, you guys? Okay. Uh, so what am I supposed to do? Did I miss something? I'm kind of like, you know, maybe they're like, go in every building, but I don't really want to do that. I want to do the main story. Okay. Whoa. Flags. Or banners. Was yeah, it, they're fancy looking. Yeah, they doesn't look, a lot of frames of animation. Yeah, it doesn't loot fully properly, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I was like, I think it's like an F and B's slap there. I don't think it is. I think I was reading some comment about this. I think this is. I think he has a plugin that allows him to change how many sprites the sprite sheet can have. Uh, and so he has. Here's a high frame rate thing for you. High frame rate, yeah, I was gonna say. Impressive. Because, yeah, otherwise. I mean, I guess. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how that would work. I don't know how this is even working, to be honest. How is he looping his animation? I mean, he might just have a command that says, run through all of the sprites on this sprite sheet. And that would be the good, best way to do it, I would think. Because, yeah, for a character sprite sheet, you can have, like, 12 times 8, so is that uh, 96 frames of animation, potentially, that you could use? Pretty good. That's assuming the game is 60 FPS. Yeah. Oh, I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. We don't want to be late. Uh, I'm looking at the time, so I'm like, yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Good. Hop in the truck. The very suspicious Soren. Why are you trailing off when you say good? Hop good. in the truck. Right. The rendezvous point is to the north. They're meeting us at the junkyard. <laughs> Why are you evil? Oh, am I driving? Oh. The we oh, driving section. Oops. I say random encounter. 
No, I think we hit the. I think we hit a time jump. Look at that. The when I go to the right, it's destroyed. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Interesting. There's some sort of time flux happening in this world. Oh no, it's the, it's the camouflage you're talking. Oh, I see. Yeah. This guy came inside. We gotta stop him. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! We Bastard! Can't let, no. <laughs> can't let him know. Yeah. Giant party. Oh yeah, I didn't realize I had almost the full party already. Yeah, it yeah. It's funny how, I, as far as I know, I, I'm guessing that you're pretty scripted to get to this point with this many people. It's funny how the gap is on is the second, second from the left. Yeah. Immune. Uh oh. Ow. Oh, 400 damage. 400 damage. damage. Jeez. That's a lot Try of shred. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Spin! <laughs> I knew that attack would be good. 153. Oh, less damage. Yeah, why? Okay, so that guy was immune to the. I never thought I'd be the Neil. What the hell was that? Okay, I was. Yeah, that's a hilarious sound. I yeah. never thought I'd be the Neil. Was that when the Jack Victor died? Yeah. I think he's still walking, even though he's covered in blood. He still has his walking animation. Yeah. I never thought I'd be. This is like Star Ocean 2. Where they <laughs> the enemy. We beat the enemy. Uh, where is. Here we go. Don't be dead, fool! I never thought I'd be the meal. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Now. It's pretty good. Whoa, it's a random target? Oh, that was pretty powerful, though. Jackhammer! Time to be like. Okay, this one's first. Time to be like Bill Goldberg, give him the jackhammer. Oh, damn. Fisted him pretty good. Uh, so I guess this is an AoE, so I guess I'll do a regular attack. Oh, he's weak to bullets or something. Bullets, my only weakness. Uh, Jump and twirl. Defeated by a sandwich. Uh oh. Who got Those injured? Vehicles. Do -do -do -do. The car doesn't have a sh the car doesn't have a shadow. I think. I was like, why does this look kind of weird? Oh, look at that! It grays out him because he's a synthetic person, so I can't use it on him. Cool! Hey, fancy. That's nice. Uh... Alright. Artificial life form. Uh-huh. Where am I going? Vroom, vroom, vroom. that glowing thing. I don't know. I have no idea. Run it over. Oh, I see. East Mole Town? Oh, it's a sign. Okay. Junkyard Echo Base? I actually don't remember what we're supposed to be doing. Too much of a modern gamer expecting fucking objectives yeah. to just tell me where to go. Oh. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Transition. Cool. Big car. Probably gonna buy stuff here. Yeah. Stop. You're late. Good day, shopkeep. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks for waiting for us. If I didn't, I wouldn't get paid. <laughs> yes. Did you obtain our special order? Of course. I'm sure you'll find the capabilities of the unit satisfactory. To be satisfactory. I want to see the merchandise. Uh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> T17. T1000. Awaiting oh, instructions. Man, oh, it's a Gundam. Super, yeah, it's a, exactly. Or it looks like uh, King Cold from Dragon Ball Z. Or no, not King, not King Cold. Uh, oh, I don't know what the character's Cooler? name. Cooler, Cooler, Frieza's brother. Frieza's brother, I thought looked like Frieza in his final form. I know. Maybe think. I don't know. That, that's how he looks the closest. Oh, to maybe cool. he has a different form. I don't know. He, I think Cooler has multiple forms. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Don't worry about the paint job. Uh, we had to assemble it from recovered parts. I assure you the unit is fully functional. Where's my credits? 
my credits. Transferring now. Okay, that one actually kind of made sense. You have a new master now, T17. Transferring command codes. When can we expect our next shipment? I'm afraid it's going to be last shipment for quite some time. Right, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm tired of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? What? Why? You no haven't heard? Read the script. It's all over the news. Soon the Alliance will be exerting far greater control of the sector. I don't plan on sticking around when they do. Continuing to do business under these conditions would be too risky. I've got to go. I'm late. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, goodbye. What? That's what exerting far greater controls in the sector. What kind of control? If we stop receiving supplies, we're as good as dead. Is this anything to do with that device ESA took from the ruins? The inhibitor. I thought we wiped the android's memory! Ah, jeez, how does it know? The malarian code. Perhaps the firewall isn't working like I had hoped. Cronus 13 doesn't seem to be acting strange, though. For now? I've got a bad feeling about this. Come on, let's get back. We have to find out what's going on. No, why, why let's get back? Let's, let's do the next thing. Whoa. Whoa, so many people. So many people. The giant line. Alright, so now we have a full team of dudes. Whoa, he has a different skill tree. Cool. Uh, can he equip things? Whoa, he has much strength. Okay. He must I do like default attacks. The, I don't know. The bar physically looks like it's the graphic. It shows all the way to the end, but other... Does it go by whoever is the highest in, or is it, is it a stack number? Like, mm, You know what I, I mean? Know. But 456 is obviously not a static number because it's such a random number, so... I don't know, that seems weird. It's like past a certain point, the bar just goes to full, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's Change like... design decision. Maybe there's uh, some At some point you get attribute points to spend or something, and that's like already maxed out, so you can't spend any? I don't know. Maybe. Brings performance at the expense of HP. Health degeneration? What the hell? Degeneration X. Degeneration X! Uh, these don't say passive, actually, so... I'm kind of like, I don't want to spend the whole turn... ...doing these. Heuristic analysis. Be here, plus 10%. That sounds way too low for me to spend the whole turn on it. Passive undervolt, but it's not a passive. At least according to this description. See, this one says passive. Whoa! Attack action's plus one? Alright. That's good. That's all you, all you want. That's all I want. More attacks. Uh, how expensive are these things? 1500, 2000. It's going to cost quite a bit. I'm not going to play for long enough to get that. Uh, health regeneration. I just want more damage. I want more passive damage because he's just going to attack. Mods. Graviton damage. Kinetic damage. Laser damage. Well, what the hell does he use? Does he actually equip a gun? A railgun, which does kinetic damage, I guess? Alright, let's do that. Yes. You do gun damage. Very good. Alright. So you're saying I have to go back to base? I really don't want to do that. I want to fight more guys. And do stuff. I want to have more story and things. Lots of room to walk around, but it's here. I guess that's very uh, immersive to be like. It's a big ass thingy. Yeah. How do we I all live in it? How do I get in? Oh, what? Is this not what I'm supposed to do? Get in the car? Just leave on foot? Nope. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, there's 
like a door right here, right? Isn't that a door? Oh, there's the door. Okay. <laughs> Into the cabin. The road is long at this point. We don't have much fuel left. Best not to stray too far from strap, scrap spring. Oh! There's a car coming, though. Crash into him. <laughs> oh, did it. Oh, man, we're on the car. Whoa. This is, doesn't seem right. You're like... Yeah, this just looks like a bag. This looks like you're standing on your... I, actually, I guess you are standing on your car. Yeah, we're standing on our car and... Uh, you're driving side by side with their car. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. All right, this guy's... Uh, Oh my god, he's the best. Uh, heal yourself. I feel like this guy gets beat up the most. What's up with that? The Wolverine. Oh my god. That was so much damage. You can take the hit. Hits three random enemies. Oh, right. Oh my god, so little damage. Well, at least one of them's dead. Rapid fire. Oh yeah, this one has like. Wait, Soren is in my team. Huh. So he is the main character, eh? I guess yeah, I don't have a way left. Hooray! Knowledge. And we got ninety buckaroonies. Alright. Uh, yeah, I guess the I guess money is pretty fair. Ninety bucks for one fight. Oops, that's the wrong button. Uh, I keep forgetting which one does. Okay, this one. Okay, this guy's getting his ass kicked. He needs to stop it. Stop getting your ass kicked, loser! Whoa, eighty percent health. I have seven of these for some reason. I have six of these. All right, because I'll use this on this guy. It's better than I was using the smaller ones because I thought they I had to. I thought I had to. I hate to. Uh, so I guess we'll just see what happens after we return to base. Yeah. Uh, hopefully something happens after that. Return to mother base. Oh, we're in the bar. We went right to the bar. All right, that's cool. We don't have to walk around. What? No. Chatting. They can't be serious! We have to do something. Shut up! I can't hear the broadcast. Play it again? Whoa! International News Network, INN. Zooming. Whoa. Whoa. This is the Interstellar News Network. I am your host, Byron Williams. It's been six weeks since the Brutal Massacre on Raxian 2. His art is such a different artist. Yeah. So inconsistent art that the mass murder picture, Iron's face, it looks, Iron's face looks like a professional anime artist. Yeah. This is the character from the previous game, I believe, that we played. Yes, so. looks very familiar. That's what I was thinking. Captain Carol Everson of the Novus Regime gave the order to eradicate the planet. Her decision marks the day that the Novus Regime was willing to use genocide to achieve their goals. Good old genocide. <laughs> Although it appears her methods were deemed too extreme, even for the regime, she is currently serving a life sentence at the Rathgard Maximum Security Prison for war crimes. In light of this Good brutal attack war. on our fellow citizens, ESA Central Command has decided to take bold action. Whoa. In a prepared statement made earlier today addressing the ongoing threat of terrorism in the Outer Rim, Deputy Director Alice Cromwell, head of Central Intelligence Command announced a series of actions. These actions will change the very shape of the Outer Rim and Lawless Space. They're gonna bring law to the Lawless Zone. Citizens of the Alliance, we have experienced a great loss with the fall of Raxian. We lost our sons, our daughters, our mothers, and our fathers. The trauma inflicted by the Novus Regime will be with us for the rest of our lives. Will never be the same again. It's time to fight back! The line must be drawn here! I present to you the Zelanov Array. Is it a Death Star? 
The array is the first of its kind, designed to keep our world safe. Proxima Sector will be protected by bringing us closer together. The array allows for real-time and lag-free communication and sensor telemetry throughout the sector. This will connect all worlds across the outer rim. Areas of... Oh. Music looped. <laughs> Areas of lawless space, particular Proxima Sector, have become a sanctuary for terrorist groups and black market trade. This chaos will be coming to an end. Not a single ship will enter or leave the sector without our knowledge. To any so-called freedom fighters, your days are numbered! You have precious little time! <laughs> what is that? You have precious little time? What does that remind me of? To return to a more legitimate way of life. Collective efforts must be for the greater good of the Alliance. We must all do our the part Alliance. to carry the torch of strength, unity, and victory. And murder and genocide. We understand this announcement may make some of our regional partners somewhat nervous. Fear not! We will be holding a regional summit to negotiate terms. For the Alliance. Independent solar states and organizations organ operating in the region will have a seat at the table. They will have a chance to be a part of the new interstellar, interstellar order. One governed by safety, stability, and the rule of law. I mean, do we need to hear, like, like at some point, like, we don't need to know that, like, all the things. Like, our, our main characters should have taken what they need from this by now, I would think. They will root out any terrorist cells. Is that root out? Is that the right? I think that's right. I don't know. Cells remaining on the planet. May we all protect each other and stand strong in the face of danger. Long life to you all, and long live the Alliance. I'm back in the face of Okay, good. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap, Wrap up the speech. No one applauds. Whoa. Uh, yeah. No, it's just the... Yeah, I was going to say that it's going to... It's just... Fade. Yeah, the lights don't fade properly. It's interesting. What plugin is he using for that? We can't just let them do this! What do you propose? A terrorist attack? What choice do we have? When in doubt, commit terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> we have to contact the others. We have a plan to come up with a plan. We have strict orders to maintain radio silence. Any transmission could be detected. We're dead meat! They're gonna wipe us out! What about Echo Base? They're the closest outpost. It wouldn't take us long to reach them by truck. Less than a day. Why not take the Sandhoppers? We could be there in minutes. ESA will be on high alert. They are sending reinforcements. We have to keep a low profile until we know what we're dealing with. Understood. Return to Mother Base. Then it's settled. We leave immediately. We shoot all the bullets. Cronus! System malfunction. Oh. Is it memory? Whoa. Why are you here? You're in the wrong place. What is this place? The end. There was nothing we could do. All was lost. Identify yourself. Zeron. Zeron. What is your purpose? Why am I here? You're in the wrong place. Jabroni, get out of here. Cronus is coming back online momentarily. I just activated a hard reset. I told you all that thing could not be would be nothing but trouble. Cronus is waking up. Whoa! What happened? You had a system malfunction. A millennium code resurfaced. Cronus yeah, this is Zeron. A malarian I saw while I was malfunctioning. What did you see? There's a large room. Malarian architecture. Zero was at the foot of a large window. It was outside the window. Some kind of explosion. 
No sensor readings. The blast radius was consistent with an antimatter explosive device. What did Zeron say? He said I was in the wrong place. Then I came online just now. You were here the whole time. You were just malfunctioning. Cronus was interacting with the Malarian code. Cronus Lutine, if this happens again, I need you to remember everything you can. There might be something in that code that can help us stop the ESA. Yeah, nukes. Understood. We don't have all day. We need to get to Echo Base. What is the location of Echo Base? Echo Base is to the northwest. It's approximately 62 kilometers from here. Come on, let's go! 62 kilometers? It's not that far. I mean, for space people with awesome vehicles and stuff. Yeah. Drugs do you need? I need all the drugs. drugs. Rage! Oh wow, drugs are cheap! Raw cannabis! <laughs> cannabis in the raw. It's like sugar in the raw. <laughs> Waste cannabis in the raw. Food synthesizer. Dude, these pictures look like Google <laughs> Google search pictures. Hot Probably dogs! Wow! Hot dogs! Dog. Synth made of people. They only cost 60. I should, just, I should do an all hot dog strat. Steal these people's hot dogs. Look at them, they're just here. Chill it. I guess we need to keep going. There's no time! Alright. Meow, 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 meow! Whoa, whoa! Jesus. Yeah, yeah, kitty. What? Puppy. Whoa! Oh, puppy angry. We'll keep an eye out for any ESA patrols. Maybe get out of my face, buddy. All right, so they said northwest, so... Uh, I guess I have to... I guess I have to go north first, and then go west. All right, this thing said... Junkyard slash echo base. No! Another car. So like this? Like a, Whoa, what's this, though? Oh, there's a little house there. No, get out of here, robots. No time for robots. There's no time. Uh-oh, it's been destroyed already. Look at the murder. Jesus. What happened here? Who did this? Help. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Jesus Christ, yeah. The pigs! <laughs> they took us by Why surprise. Does so much blood in him? <laughs> He's waving around like a walrus on his belly. Please kill me. <laughs> uh, dies like a Southwark character. Blah. Blah. He's, He's dead. dead. There must be other survivors. Let's find what we can. Other survivors? He didn't survive, bro. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, now we, now we rob them, yeah. Robbing, yeah. Yeah. Robbing. Damn it. Ran out of people to rob. Yeah, man, we're getting a ton of fucking healing items. Jeez. I wonder if that's changes. I wonder if the numbers change depending on your difficulty. Oh! Huh! Don't move! Enemy Marines. We'll see about that. We'll see how good they are when I shoot them with bullets. Hey, you! I thought we captured all the survivors. Eliminate them. Oh my god, they go first. Oh, that's bad. I like how in space, how uh, Marines are related to specifically water, but in Sci-fi, they always just name any sea, you know, any space-faring soldiers as marines. Space marines. <laughs> it's like, there's no marine, there's nothing marine about going from space to a desert. <laughs> but, <sighs> from space marine. Damn it, I didn't kill them, though. Space yeah, marines. Yeah. The water of the sky. 
Uh, shreds enemies. Ah, oh, oh, nice. Got somebody. He shouldn't die, asshole. Um, oh no. Okay, good. He hit somebody else. What? Doesn't that guy have like zero hit points? Oh, okay, no. He doesn't. Hit, I hit the guy that has very little health. Yeah, there's three enemies exactly. All of them went to the same person. Those guys weak as shit. Oh. A whole party? 50%? Uh... This... A whole party... Oh, I see. This is cheaper, but it only works. Only works on synthetic life forms. Okay. Positronic regeneration. Uh. I don't think that's what. What does? I guess I should look that up. I don't know what positronic means. Uh, but I assume that's like a net of like network of thingies. Rapid fire. Proton. Well, I just think of like Star Trek. Data has a positronic. Brain. Ah. So I think that's like. Uh oh. <laughs> this guy goes first. Use your. Give him the jackhammer, Goldberg. <laughs> Ugh, damn. That's so much damage. Take that! You're dead! Man, whoever these people that were in the space were kind of lame, huh? Whoa! Holy shit! Each of those hits did like 800 damage! Yeah! You're free now! They took us by surprise! We didn't see it coming! You are Search for survivors! Now. Get them to the truck! Understood. Yeah, make our party go from seven people to like thirty people. Eh, 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 loot them. Loot, 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 loot. All right. Well, I think we've just about hit time here, though. Sure. Oh. F oh, boss fight. Oh, another fight. Just ready for wait. Oh. Oh, you can play. Yeah, cause don't move, and then waits for you to react. Cool. All right. Uh, this just looks like more people? I don't know if this is a boss fight. Dude, you want to finish this fight? It's yeah, I'll, this fight. I'll approach them and at least see what happens here. How do they get past our teams? By killing them. Oh my god, he's gonna murder me. Wow, that's a lot. Of Why does he always get hit first? Why? What is so special about him? <laughs> oh no. Yep, two I people are dead. I'd be the meal. Oh. I never thought I'd be the meal. <laughs> oh, some of these guys are really weak. Uh, dead, dead, dead. I never thought I'd be the meal. Give an even more awkward line read. Uh, yeah. Cool. Hooray, they're alive, but they are still got blood on them. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, this is a full release game. Big glitch. Jackhammer! <laughs> yeah, you picked up that giant robot and slammed it into the ground. Uh, this guy kind of sucks, right? Maybe? I don't remember. Is there like advanced nanobot? What? Oh fuck. Alright, well I'll just heal everyone. Oh okay, I thought this said 33%, but that seemed like that was more. Oh well. Error. Compute not error. <laughs> Oh yeah, I almost want to hear everyone's death set. You talked over him though, what are you doing? 
fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> Maybe I'll check if the files are uh, encoded or not, or encrypted or not, and I'll see if I can play them. Uh, these guys are like doing way too much damage. Uh, oh, it's not gonna bring this guy up though. Whoops. That was stupid. Whoops. I need my robot. Uh, Air roared. Revive synthetic life forms. There we go. Have a battery, stupid. Yes, eat the battery. Um, um, um. Uh, I think this person might be weak, right? I think this person's weak. Oh, yeah, this thing was really good. Oh, no, he, she has this. I don't know. Woo, spin! Okay, she's kind of weak. Yeah, I should yeah. fucking... Oh, my God, he's going to spam this AoE. Jesus Christ! Not possible. They all, they all say it at the same time. This is a hell of a boss fight, because they all have fucking awesome AoE moves to just spam. So... I guess they win. Yes, yeah, they're the smartest AIs. God, they have so much... Yeah, they're so durable. Yeah, he's literally using it every turn. Like, come on. Wow. I hear the game over, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, well I've got uh more of this. I feel like I have to not heal and just go for damage. Oh that person's a robot. Fuck. Dead again. I never thought I'd be the kneel. <laughs> oh <coughs> So that guy isn't the main character. He doesn't even get to say words. Nope. He's a jabroni. I love how everyone's covered in their blood. It's so fun. So these guys are robots, right? Let's robot them. Oh my god! Okay. That makes it easier. I said the fucking... Oh yeah, you're right. The robots are in robot blood. That's cool. Yeah. Just DPS them. We gotta get at least one of them down. Oh my god, oh he's my so god. weak without doing the jackhammer attack. Yes, please kill that one. Oh no, no, we're dead. Oh shit! It's oh it's just, it's just, uh, shit! In time, Aww. all hope was lost. All right. It's a good, good point. A good point to call it. We'll just call it. That fight's right. winnable, I'm sure, but uh, yeah. whatever. Spamming AOE attacks, kind of. RPG Maker bullshit. And they just have a random chance to use an attack, and sometimes they just use their best attack over and over again. Too smart. AI is sentient. I need more grenades. I should have found the grenade store before showing up here, but what are you yeah. gonna do? Huh. All right. Replay the game? Just kidding. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scoring the game. So yeah, we'll say it was kind of. Uh, more of the same from what we saw from the last game, but uh, you know, a lot of cool tricks of like scripting and storytelling and stuff to visually convey what's going on. I didn't fully get a sense of uh, who our characters were and what they were trying to accomplish, um, so it's kind of like just I don't know, going along at the same speed of the journey with them. Uh, and just finding out, like, it kind of almost feels like, I guess based on what I know, just almost like a lore dump, because I guess we're just finding out, like, this is how this thing happened, where, uh, yeah. some big change happened in, in this, uh, government, and then these terrorists blew something up, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Please listen to us. We need to go stop the bad thing happening. It's like, okay, sure. Yeah. So... I don't know. Uh, I guess we have to start with gameplay, though, and not yes. narrative. Um, I'm kind of like, okay, gameplay up there is four. Four! We're pretty uh, generous, I would say, uh, with that four. Um, I think so. I mean, it is a lot, a big upgrade from um, standard RPG Maker stuff. The ship combat, 
<laughs> it's funny they gave it to us right away this time, but you know, it's kind of weird because it's not like a tutorial of how to play the game, and um, it's three of the same ship, so it was, wasn't really like deep ship combat. So it's kind of like, yeah, kind of whack. Uh, <laughs> it, last time, did we we actually got to the ship combat at the end, or, or we never got to? It? We just saw screenshots. At the very end, we did one, but it was like one ship versus one ship. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of felt like. I remember they had like way too many skills, and I was like, I don't know what these skills do. Uh. Sure. Um. But yeah, the gameplay isn't uh, as terrible as other RPG Maker games. It is very, um. Very volatile. Numbers can be very different. Uh, I don't understand the difference between power attacks and regular attacks, and. I don't know. I guess it's one of those things where it's like. In time, you can you can spend time with it and figure it out. Maybe there's a manual. I guess I should check if the files have a manual with them. But uh, you know, it's not really how games are made anymore. Yeah, reading the manual is not a common thing. It's in here somewhere. Anyway, you can say some words about gameplay while I scroll through this. Uh, yeah, not much to say. Honestly, it felt like. More of the same. The starting ship battle was, yeah, I mean, it was a little cool in tactics RPG, but I don't know, I almost feel like that should be more of the game. I mean, you kind of mentioned the flipping thing. It, it is a big undertaking to make the game mostly a tactics game, right? That it's a, it is a big departure, but I'd like to see. I, I know that there's that really popular one, something oh. of war, Symphony of War, is it? That uses RPG Maker that is a tactics game. Yeah. Or so, like, uh, what's it called? Some sort. I mean, some sort of different type of tactics game, yeah. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, I don't know. The ship combat was... It's it's a little bit better, but it's it's not a huge deal. Uh, otherwise, the gameplay, super same. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't really know... It feels like it was the same most for the most part. Maybe you, because you as the player, maybe you could feel it was different, but it felt like it was pretty pretty much identical. No, it felt the same to me. Um, I guess I'm supposed to like walk around, look at the store mower, and f try to find. Oh, I found the sounds. Here we go. Fuck! I'm bleeding out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't continue. <laughs> Oh, can you hear these? You can't hear these. I, can oh, you? I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't hear it at all. Oh, you didn't hear me when I played the other sound. Damn. Uh, I'll just listen to them later. Whatever. But you listen to them I'll in this it. in the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fine. Everything. Yeah, just play them all and I'll listen. I'll see you in hell. That's the thing. I just stream. I just don't want to stream your desktop. <laughs> that's probably not the best idea. Oh my god. I can't uh, believe. I mean, I'm showing or I'm showing the app. I guess. Does that not work? Why? I don't know how. To, I don't know how. Discord works. It's bad. Yeah. Isn't it? Your best bet would be to stream your desktop, but <laughs> that's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, shit. Later. Uh, I'm it. I can't believe it. <laughs> My meat is dead. Uh, some of these are like comedy ones. What is this? My meat is dead. What kind of a phrase is that? No. Oh, one of them is just no. No. I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> All right. We actually get a soundbite so people know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah, I I think I did that one in the previous video, so maybe I'll do it again. Oh, okay. Because I probably still have if I still have the uh, video from the last time I put it into something, I'll put it again. Put it in again. Yes. No, I can't I move. All right. So anyway. Uh, gameplay. Um, yeah, I almost want to much the same. lower the score. <laughs> lower the score for not being improvement and just being the same. And it's kind of cool that you got the robot guy and he's like powerful, but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, three point five or a four, somewhere in there. Yeah, I was thinking. I think there's like the car, which is pretty cool, but. That wasn't really gameplay. It's just a transportation system. Yeah. So, yeah. 3.5, sure. We're going to mark it down a little bit. Yeah, mark it down for not enough improvement, I guess, between games. 
Yes. Same. It's more of the, the same. same. More, oh. A lot of the same confusion of like a lot of the systems. Which is what like, does this skill even do? What does this skill do? What is power damage? What is yep. strength damage or whatever the other one was called? Uh, narrative. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was pretty cool. There's definitely a lot of things happening and a lot of stuff pulling us towards from point A to point B. Uh, I didn't get really a strong sense of like overall story, I guess, or like what our characters are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't. That was kind of whatever. Gonna mark it down for the dot 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 excessive dot dot dot. Oh man! All right, we're gonna go down to a four then from the previous game having a five. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna take a whole point for that. A whole point for that. All right. Uh, audio. Um, I gave it a two point five last time. I guess that's still kind of true here. I mean, the sounds are kind of all over the place. There's some RTP. Yeah, and then the voice acting is. But the it reminds me of Star Ocean's bad voice acting. Yeah. Uh, the music was not bad, though. I don't remember anything about the music last time. Was there music? There was. It was similar music, if I remember correctly. Similar? Yeah, just kind of... Fast beat. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of ambience and building the scene. Uh, oh, right. The, the score is in yellow above because I just made a random guess. That's what the yellow means because we randomly decide, or yeah, we randomly oh, decided to include right. audio, audio later on. And rather Adio. than go back and talk about it, I just threw in numbers. Yes. And I highlighted them yellow because we didn't talk about them. Uh, the mystery is solved. So, I don't know, is 2.5 still relevant, do you think? Did I guess correctly? Uh, Maybe it deserves a 3. Yeah, I'd give it 3. The music was at least not super generic. The RTP was bad, but we got some music in there. Yeah. Uh, nice. visuals funny enough we gave it a pretty high score of 5.5 before um, yes we didn't get this I guess we there were some cool tricks to like script uh, eventing and scripting and you know visual storytelling more than the actual art because the art's very inconsistent and stuff like that that's the big thing yeah the art is super inconsistent so I almost want to mark it down for that yeah so um, they, yeah uh, I will say, yeah, they he did the cool. We saw it in the Steam page. We didn't see it in the game. Yeah. So there was that cool, some cool effects. I definitely want to give him a little bit more credit just for doing that. But like in terms of RPG maker, or at least uh, like not not popular games, you know, not doing well games like Omari and stuff. I do want to give it a decent score in comparison to other. You know, zero sale. You know, two ten sub ten sale RPG maker games. Yeah, but the art style is also super inconsistent. So yeah. I want I want to mark it down for that for sure. Uh, so you want to do a five four? or or I even more? Four. Four. Okay. It's hard to say, man, because the 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 FMV stuff does look cool. Yeah. But I'll give four point five. All right, sure. Because I think if if the art style is consistent and also had that cool FMV stuff, I would probably give it a six or something. Yeah, you could also consider it a mark a mark down from. Like, because the previous game had the same kind of issues, really. So yeah, it did. And it didn't improve upon. Just kind of did more of the same. I mean, it probably improved upon scripting. I'm sure. Like, there's a lot of cool new tricks, but uh, you know, the problem is still. It's kind of hard to look at sometimes. Yeah. Uh, mapping. Um, I mean, mapping was, you know, functional. Yeah. Uh, so the car part was cool. I, yeah. I liked it, but it, I don't know how. Honestly, maybe a bit past that gimmick, I don't really care. Uh, the camouflage city was there; that was pretty cool. Yeah. It, it was a simple effect, but at least it was story consistent. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, the mapping was just kind of functional. Yeah, we didn't really get far enough into actually exploring the world, but uh, I think I think it's probably going to be pretty con be pretty consistent with what we saw. Yeah. Three point five, I think it's fair. Give it another three point five. No, the three point five. There you go. We did it. Uh, technical. I mean, that, some of those art things were pretty cool. It seemed. Yeah. The. I guess there weren't any. There was some bugs. There was some weird visual bugs. There was some weird issues here and there. 
Yeah, you mentioned layering. the blinking. I don't know if I really saw it, but yeah, the layering. Layering and yeah, f uh, animations not looping properly. So I'll give uh, it a three. Three. That's that does seem a bit excessive low, but it just feels like a low average. You gave so. him a four last time, so you gave it maybe a three point five. I don't know. Sure, three point five. Why not? Let's give All it right. three point five. Oh, I didn't realize this game actually costed more than the previous game because this game costs seven ninety nine, and the previous one costs six forty for some reason. Although I don't, maybe he oh, like, lowered the price at some point. Yeah, it sounds like a it sounds like a deal price. Yeah. Value. I don't. I think that eight bucks is a bit high. This feels like a, a three to five dollar game. Not yeah. that eight bucks is particularly expensive, but. Yeah, it's still yeah. under 10, so that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if he was trying to do a thing. Because some, some trick I learned recently is apparently uh, a lot of devs will put their game on sale for 20%. Like, that's yeah. the specific threshold they hit because Steam will automatically email everyone who's wishlisted wish -listed the game to be like, hey, uh, the game's on sale. And 20% is the threshold where it actually sends the email. So it's basically free advertising. <laughs> Yeah, that's that makes sense. So you just you just increase your game your intended price by twenty percent and then yeah put and then it on you, sale. You put it on sale. Oh, ha. <laughs> oh, how slick! Magic. So I don't know if this is eight dollars, but with a plan twenty percent sale at some point <laughs> for ten dollars a ten dollar game. Yeah. yeah. Or oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, which would go to I think six forty forty nine whatever the other game was. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh. Yeah, I think the value score is kind of low, but it's not like horrible. The game wasn't like the game wasn't super expensive. Yeah, no, I'd probably say I don't know, maybe a five or something. We said five. We said five dollars last time. I guess I'm saying five dollars again. Let's say three. Right. Three. Oh. Three. Whoa. I think it's a bit too much for this value. Oh, for the score. Okay, I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three. Wow. That's oh, yeah, a... so for the actual. I mean, you want to do four, you want to break it down in the middle. I guess you were saying five for the price, so... Yeah, I'm being mean. Well, so you want... So, okay. Well, so, so, yeah, so, so what... <laughs> I'm making three for the value, but... Three for the you value. You are free to... Wow. I mean, the game could be kind of long, but I just felt it was, like... There's just a lot of issues with the game. Not a lot, but... There's uh, minor issues, but it just lacks a lot of polish. I think... I, I think just feel eight bucks is a lot for a game with, like, very... Like, a lot of... Lacking a lot of polish, you know? I don't know. I think there I was that like the, the blood. Sorry, I keep mm -hmm. running with you. But sorry, the blood on the guys like after they die and you res them, there's still blood. Just like, a lot of little weird polish issues. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was, I three. I don't know. Seems a little long. Maybe four or something. Cause we can break it. You know, meet in the middle. Yeah. Cause I'd say five is like about right, and then it'd be a little cheaper. I don't know. Uh, but what is the price you the price you suggest? Huh. Just do forty ninety nine like last time. Man. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Wow. Losing a dollar. Yep. Wow. Too many weird polish issues. I mean I guess it does it I, one thing I was gonna say is being a sequel, it means he's, you know, able to reuse a lot of tech and assets from the previous game, which he definitely did in terms of the combat and stuff. Sure. So I don't know if there's something something added on to increase the value of that, or if it's just, you know. I mean, it is nice as an indie dev to have that efficiency available to be able to yeah. rebuild build upon what you've already made. Uh, Indeed. Anyway, uh, overall impression. Um, I gave a C plus minus last time, and you gave a C. Yeah, I guess maybe... I do feel weird because we, we we kind of try to rate in a unbiased from previous games, but I was just I don't know maybe maybe last time I was just more impressed because we were you know, the standard was even lower for the RPG Maker <laughs> games we're yeah. seeing and just having some graphics and some SMVs. But I feel at this point we've seen enough. We've seen quite a few more games, which we have. You know what is it? There's like eight games or nine games between, and I feel that my bar is a little bit higher, so I'm a little more strict and i was just really i don't know i just felt really unimpressed with the game this time not not like in an overly bad way not that it's like complete garbage 
like it's you know ballad of rat off level like not even close to that <laughs> i guess my best way is yeah when i say disappointed i don't mean beyond awful i just more so mean it just feels very similar it feels like nothing was really improved and i think part of it is a little more jaded since the Latin origins review so you kind of add all that together i just just really unimpressed to be completely honest not much to say past that so damn what letter are you, are you think what letter comes to your mind man i gave him what a c minus minus last time no you gave him a c a c that's, that's what it so says nice. right I just, yeah i have it at the top there c flat c i give right. i gave a f plus minus is that the first game gotcha. we did that for <laughs> <laughs> no i don't think it was maybe what a six uh, system oh uh was it oh maybe it was wow oh my gosh the legend was born Legend was born with that one. Where's my other? Where's the other? Oh, there's one. There's a minus plus. <laughs> F minus plus. Uh, funny. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling that game. Just thinking back on it, 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 it was just, wow, so Z, 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 Z. And, and again, it's, it's not because it's particularly that different from Origins, but I think at this point, after all these other games, I'm just more jaded, even more than before. I mean, this channel started because we're super jaded. And I think I've just been beaten down <laughs> by more. <laughs> and I just, I just, you know what it is? I, I just have less tolerance because I already had a low tolerance, and now I have just even less tolerance because of some. So it's not this game is. It's just so. It's just so average. So yeah, nothing. Just so so. Bleh. That's the best way I could put it. Hmm. So I'm trying to think. You know though, those FMVs and man, but there's like the bad polish. You know, I'll be nice. I was debating between D plus plus and C minus minus. I'll go C minus minus. All right, sure. Damn, we lost the whole minus minus. Uh, I guess I'm gonna lose some score for me too. I'm gonna go with a flat C instead of C plus minus. Um, although funny enough, choosing between this game and the other game, I might feel inclined to play this one over the other one. I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, Maybe just hey, we, maybe just suspicions about what happens later on in the game as you keep going. That's what I was thinking. Something like, something similar simple along those lines. Yeah, where it's just like uh, the this might gameplay. this might be an actual more contained game that I could play. So, funny enough, I might be more inclined to play this game over that one. But I do think that I don't know the grading makes sense in terms of in terms of if you were coming into the franchise, it seems like it makes more sense to recommend the other one. Yeah, it's the franchise. I guess technically true. Franchise. Too. Well, I think he has a third game too. Oh my god, it's the. You know when people are. What is it? They're they're not nearly as big as they think they are, they're, and they use they use. Colorful language to make them sound better. This epic saga. <laughs> okay, buddy. This is you have like two three games that, all sold a combined around ten copies. That's not. That's not called an epic saga. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What am I writing here? Uh, it's the sequel to the thing. Sequel to the other one. Prequel, technically. More of the same. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if it's a sequel or prequel. I thought I remember hearing prequel from somewhere, but I don't know where I heard that from, oh, okay. so I have no idea if it's true or not. It uh, wasn't on the game page. We don't know for sure. Yeah. I mean, there's no way for me to really... I kind of feel like it was a sequel because it was referring to that other character as being a mass murderer. So I'm like, oh, is that oh, from, the, right. from the other? Is that something that happens in the other games? I don't know. Yeah, and do we are we misremember? Is it because the art is so different and looks so funny that we think that that character is from the previous game? But I'm pretty sure she was. I'm pretty sure that was I the think captain. She was. I remember that I wacky think she hair. Was. Yep, and that that uh, airbrushed cheek. <laughs> I remember that really well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So maybe it is a sequel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That not much else to say. It's more the same. And four was mediocre. Four plus being less, more biased now. <laughs> more biased. It's getting harder less and harder. Less but, tolerance. Uh, My tolerance level has definitely. Yeah, but you know, still, it's still got the. Uh, 
you know, comparatively speaking, pretty good grades, you know. That's true. I'm I'm happy to not I'm happy to not have another F on the board. <laughs> Start starting to get uh pretty flustered, to be honest. Um Yeah, those yeah. A good amount of Man, another one is like there's complete garbage, nothing to talk nothing really to say outside of the same stuff we've said twenty times. Yeah. So an actual easy. game with effort and you know, putting stuff out, a story and Something's going on, you know. Uh, yep. So it's nice, nice to feel like playing an actual game, even if the game doesn't have uh, as much uh, certain of certain pieces as I would like. Um, yeah. But I mean, I guess maybe his intent is like, well, I'll just mess around with stuff, and then you'll figure it out. But I don't know. I feel like it's it's probably going to be a pretty easy like threshold to figure out to just like AOE and kill everything instantly. Um, because I don't know, it doesn't Maybe. doesn't doesn't seem like there's a lot of depth to to what's going on. Indeed, and the story was so whatever that I yeah even if not couldn't even tell it was a big sequel or prequel because I don't I honestly don't remember enough of the previous story to really yeah care. <laughs> yeah, the previous game was about a ship that could like travel through time and somehow they accidentally like went into the wrong timeline or something. So that was kind of cool. In this one, we just have this like weird robot with bad memories, which is uh, not as intriguing, I guess I would say. You know, sure. I'm sure, you know, the writer thinks like, "Oh, this the story so cool. You have to see the whole thing." But it's like, you know, as as a like breadcrumb to like the rest of the story doesn't really. It's not a, that interesting of a premise, you know, basically. And you got to play through two generic JRPG maker games <laughs> to see it all. <laughs> No thank you. Yeah. No thank you. Even though you had seven party, seven party members, which does change a little bit, but not nearly enough. So. Seven party members, and then you juice them up by giving them that extra action item, so you have 14 actions. Yeah. Perfect. And then you grind a bunch of uh, respawning enemies so you can max out all of your skills. Be like super juiced. <laughs> well... I'm probably never find out. Unless you do. If you ever decide to finish the game, I guess let me. Maybe I'll curious to pop in and check it out. But uh, maybe, but I don't know. I just I, I feel like right now I have too many, too many games I'm messing around in. So That's I fair. just I don't have time. I feel like <laughs> yeah. That is that is the world of games. Is there's too many of them and they all take too many hours to play. So that True. is that is where this competition of you know this impression is like. Do I want to play the C game or do I want to play this, you know, these B's and A's and potential S's that I have in my backlog, you know? That 100% makes sense. Yes, absolutely true. All right, well, <laughs> whatever. The dev can see us say these things and whatever. Hopefully, uh, hey, good luck with this game, dev man. Yeah, I appreciate that it's a game with actual effort in it and not garbage. That's um, yeah, not like just generic. Like I mean, we've seen Valor Red right often. Yeah, and indie dev is overall like regardless of what your in, your engine and budget is, is still incredibly difficult <laughs> to yes. to even do anything in. So I would consider this to be a pretty high score, <laughs> considering like there are devs working in Unreal with like ten people and an actual budget who are probably going to get you know D's and F's. There's a lot. Of, <laughs> there's a lot of trash out there. So, sure. You did. You did something at least. So that's good. Yeah, I, I do think that as much as I was really disappointed in a lot of the ways, I do. Th I I can still recognize the game. To, you know, has a good amount of effort put in. So, yeah. Good job, person. Uh, I guess the game is technically officially released. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it does All right, well. Then. Yeah. All right, I guess I guess we're gonna head out here. We got, I think we said all we had to say. Yes. All right, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.